Thank you. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, just a couple quick things. You know, we've uh, really enjoyed being in the gym with this team. You know, uh, we've got great experience in an area that matters, which is our backcourt with uh, Brian Tyree and Devontae Schuler. We're young in some other areas, but uh, I think our team looks more this year, more like an SEC team with length and athleticism. And it's uh, looking forward to, to getting started. Our first exhibition game will be a hurricane relief game November the 4th. We have two players from the Bahamas area, one kid, Franco Miller, from Freeport, who was affected by it. And so hopefully we'll raise some money November 4th against Mississippi College. Okay, questions? Coach, to your left, standing up. Yeah, you know, I, I think that, you know, I've been around the SEC for all my life, and uh, but I think when you get up close and personal with it every single night, you appreciate even more the talent level, the athleticism of the players. What hit me in such a great way is I hadn't been in the SEC since 2002 when I left LSU to go to Middle Tennessee. It was just a commitment of basketball, you know, and just uh, – the recruiting that goes on in our league, the facilities improvement, the commitment everybody's made, including Ole Miss. And so the competition is just fierce. So I think we'll have even a better understanding. I was really proud of our team last year and what they did. And, uh, but we just have better footing right now, and recruiting is, is going well. So uh, our roster is starting to take shape more like we like it. Coach, to your left, second row, please. Yeah, you know, I think that sometimes, you know, we all can teach block out drills, but you got to recruit natural rebounding guys that just when the ball goes up, they're not afraid to put their nose right in the middle of contact. You know, Sammy Hunter is a freshman, 6'9", 230 pounds. I think he's going to be a terrific player in the SEC in time. He'll play a lot for us this year. But he's got to instinctively go pursue the ball better. And uh, so it's something you got to have great rebounding guards. I think Devontae Shuler is a good rebounding guard. Uh, I think Hadeem C., our new player, uh, will give us a huge boost going back and rebounding it. Uh, so, you know, it is. It's, it's a, this is something that we, we emphasize every single day. And uh, if you're not a good rebounding team in this league, you'll get killed. That's for sure. Coach, to your left, standing up over here. You know, he's got such a great compact game. And uh, he can get separation. You know, when everybody in, in, in this day and time, you know, talks about not shooting mid-range shots, he's probably maybe the best mid-range jump shooter in college basketball. And he, he's just got a knack that he can, even though he's about 6'1", 6'2", he can just separate himself. And uh, he does. He can finish with his left and right hand. Sorry, Coach, to your left. You know, we haven't we haven't pursued that. I had one at, at Middle Tennessee, Nick King, who was an All American. You know, he came from Alabama and made a great, great jump for us. Uh, we really tried to go. We signed two junior college players this past year, but had really done it by going with, with young freshmen. I just thought growing our program, we needed that. And then I think as you get into your program longer, like this year, you know, if uh, maybe we don't sign the exact right guy we want early to replace a guy like Brian Tyree, he's our only senior then that may be something we may wait till late and try to get into the, to the transfer market. I think when, when people really start using the grad transfer market, when they get affected by the draft, especially at our level, and so I think some of those things, those are good problems to have when guys make, you know, good decisions and you leave. To your left, Coach, second row. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, Brian, you know, is this.
probably his name probably wasn't brought up one time in this whole SEC media day last year, and that's the beauty of, of college basketball. And there'll be there'll be some guys just like that that appear in our league this year. And now he's coming back as the leading returning scorer in the league. Uh, but I think he's going to get a lot of attention. You know, Terrence Davis, who's now with the Raptors, you know, he got some attention deflected. So now a lot of focus is going to be on Brian. And so he's going to have to defer. And he's gotten so much better off of ball screen offense, reading secondary defenders. And so I hope that this year his assist to turnover would be great if he can be two to one. And I think, you know, he and Devontae both need to share point guard responsibilities where Brian has the ball in the full court, you know, about as much as Devontae does. Coach, again, to your left, standing up. You know, I think, and probably everybody at the podium has said this today, um, we all work like mad to try to create expectations. And so, you know, our fan base, which they really caught on last year, you know, we had a 24% increase in attendance in the SEC, which was by far led in the SEC. We sold out a bunch of SEC games. I think season tickets are going at a higher rate than they ever had. So that's good for our fan base. And, uh, but, you know, obviously in this kind of league, you know, you've got to just keep growing your program. You just got to be day to day. I think, you know, we had a, didn't play well in the NCAA tournament. Oklahoma got us. Uh, it was great to get there. And so I think that's something that our team has talked about, especially Brian and Devontae. So hopefully that'll, that'll lead to a, to a team which they practice like it. You know, really, we've got to, at Ole Miss, when you're building your program, you got to repeat itself a long, long time. You can't do it one year and all of a sudden you're there. I mean, you're going to have to go and repeat the process at Ole Miss to try to establish your program nationally, and that's something we know we have to do. Coach, to your left, five rows back. Yeah, you know, what, what happened last year, and we did, we, we beat – we just got off to 3-0, and beat Auburn, who's ranked 11th, won at Mississippi State, they're ranked 14th, and we played an LSU team at home. I thought we played well. They were just – that was the most talented team we played, and they played great that night. You know, I think it's just life in the league that you eventually went back and we won five out of six, and then we lost, I think, five out of six to end it with games against Tennessee and Kentucky. Recruiting depth, I really think we, we got a lot out of that team, and I think they kind of got spent at the end, a lot of guys playing a lot of minutes. So I think this year we'll go back to maybe playing 10, 11 guys. You know, there's going to be a lot of youth playing, but you'll see we're just, we just, we're more, we're longer, we're more athletic, and we can make more plays in the open floor. So I think depth is a big part of that. To your left again, Coach. You know, I've always talked about, everybody talks about branding. You know, uh, Ole Miss is a national brand as an institution. I mean, it is. Just kids from everywhere. And they, they love the, their experience at Ole Miss as a student. And so it's up to us to try to create a national brand. Obviously, you know, to do that, you have to win big games on a national stage when it matters. And obviously, you're in the biggest stage in college basketball because you're right here in the SEC every single night. Really, when you create your brand, I've always said it's a promise delivered in an experience. So your fan base is going to leave your arena, and they'll tell each other what your brand is based on what they've seen. And so I thought last year our fan base really caught on to our team, especially the student body. And it was pretty cool to hear opposing coaches said, we've never seen this arena feel like this. And they really were pulling for Ole Miss and trying to will us to win. And so, you know, you got to recruit nationally. you got to win national games. When you finally arrived is when your fan base will start traveling with you. And so we got a lot of work ahead of us, but when you've done that, then you've really arrived as a national program. 